well night one I should say just got home from work and weather's starting to get nice out so starting to build the tortoise pen um, well initially I have my uh, raised bed garden here which needs to get filled in with compost down there is some of the old stuff and I put down cardboard to make sure nothing of the weeds in there from the old stuff um, is going to come up because I had a big problem with weeds last year so I'm going to get some new soil and add to the top you see there's a pretty good gap there a good two foot gap that I need to fill up along here um, it worked out great as far as growing plants but I'm using this it's uh, seven pallets wide each pallet is uh, close to close to four foot so I got about approximately 28 feet wide here and then I'm going to uh, cut pallets pretty much in half pretty much up to this so they're easy to step over but the tortoises can't get over I'm going to bring it all the way down past that tree kind of see this little line here you know where the where I had pallets laid out there you know yeah I'm going to go just past that tree so that way they have the tree within their pen and around and connect it to the other side and then uh, this is going to be the house Hopefully they get along, so I don't have to divide it in half. But if I have to divide it in half, that right there in the middle, that's my dividing point. It's right, right dead in the middle from the two sides. So they pretty much would have a, a pallet size space on each side. Since it's a pallet deep on each side and, well, about two pallets wide on the inside. So it should be enough if I need to divide it. I'm hoping I don't have to divide it. But this is where we are beginning. Starting with the construction of the house. Just getting the structure up. I got plenty of free plywood and scrap pieces that I'll just piece together. I, ain't, I don't need anything pretty. I rent. So when it's all said and done and we don't live here anymore... I can rip this all down and have a big old bonfire, you know, as I, well, live out in the country here. You know, unfortunately, all that past these little pines there are is not my property, you know. But, you know, I'm just doing what I got here. Got tons of free pallets. I mean, I got tons of free wood and pallets that gonna use to my expense you know my expensive part is buying the screws beer and time so once I get this structure pretty much done and then uh, because when I cut these pallets in half I'm not using no circular so I'm taking out the chainsaw and you know just taking a chainsaw and just cutting them all, you know, vroom, 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 making it real nice and easy. And that way, uh, you know, this area will pretty much, when I measured this out, it was about, about 11 to 12 pallets long. But like I said, about 7 pallets wide. So, should give enough room for the two torts. And then somewhere in here I'm gonna make a little pond maybe two different pond areas for them to get in and soak I don't know if I'm gonna dig into the ground or if I'm gonna make them above ground and just make a, a base leading up to them so I'm using real shallow ki kiddie pools no real small ones because um, they can step in and out of it, but I need to be able to support those side walls. Otherwise, they'll just break that plastic right up. So, as you see, I got pallets and wood and that all stacked up everywhere. Got pieces of all scrap over there that I'm just going to use to my best to 
make it as cheap as possible since it's can't really be permanent since I only rent you know when I buy it'd be a whole different story I mean I might go off and spend the money and buy concrete blocks and uh, build it up with concrete blocks you know make it real secure and nice am I worried about predators no no I mean the big guy is uh, give or take 75 pounds and the little guy is about 40 pounds um, my big guy I've always had outside and uh, believe me we got some raccoons I mean we got some massive sized raccoons that are like medium sized dogs and they aren't afraid of people but I've never ever had an issue with raccoons or anything messing with the torts so plus at night time I'm planning uh, once I get this done they'll have uh, locking doors on it so I can lock them in at night um, especially once it gets a little chilly on certain days since I'm here uh, about an hour and a half south of Chicago um, you know yeah, we get Chicago weather you know, right now we got highs in the uh, 50s and lows uh, about freezing so that's why I haven't even gotten the garden going because well it's been too damn cold so this is where it begins and uh, let's uh, see where it ends up you know I'm not worried about the plywood or sealing in anything or the roof right now I just need to get the main frame of the structure done and then once the main frame of the structure is done then I'll uh, worry about uh, plywooding in and doing everything else you know I'm also deciding if I should take plywood after I cut these pallets down if I should take plywood and go across it all so they can't really see out but I haven't decided yet if I want to do that or not I mean I can but will I I do not know yet I mean it has crossed my mind many of times but we're just in a stage of planning and hooking things together and seeing what the hell happens well this video is getting long so let's uh cut it short bye bye